All right, you're watching uh, the Weather Network, Weather AM. It is Tuesday, March 26th, and we'll be talking about all the weather that's impacting those of us in Canada. But uh, a real tragedy has been unfolding in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, we had a, a vessel strike the bridge. The bridge there uh, that has collapsed. This happened uh, about 1:30 this morning, and um, now it's about search and rescuers trying to get people out of the water because the water temperature on that river is somewhere around 48 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about eight nine degrees Celsius. That is not suitable for swimming, and in fact, uh, hypothermia can really set in uh, quite quickly with water temperatures uh, that cool cold and hypothermia is essentially when the when the body loses heat quicker than it can produce it uh, and it is fatal if it's not tended to uh, for anyone to want to help hypothermia and this is just a good reminder of course for us we don't want to wait for a tragedy for that to happen is calling 911 get that person away from the cold and into shelter as quick as possible removing that wet clothing wrap them up in blankets and um, give them some sips of warm uh, liquids to drink as well so we're thinking about those uh, the search and rescuers who are in there with their body suits and trying to get anyone in the water out about 13 degrees is the high today in Baltimore rain showers tomorrow but that certainly won't be the issue it's it's getting it's the immediate concerns right now uh, and there likely will be um, you know, high tide coming in as well, and that could exacerbate the situation. Here at home, uh, we've got uh, cold weather across the west, minus 9 in Calgary, minus 10 in Winnipeg. Snowstorm in northern Ontario, some rain moving to the southern areas of Ontario. Temperatures are much milder, and for the east coast, we'll be looking at an impending storm headed your way. Let's start off in the north, though. It's been snowing heavily at times in around uh, north and west Superior. Thunder Bay, see right along the shores, a little bit of that mixing. We've, got, we've seen that snow change to freezing rain in Kapiskasing. Uh, earlier further south we saw snow change to rain. This is a, a messy day today. Areas near and north of Lake Superior could see total snowfalls in excess of 30 and 40 centimeters worth of snow. So this is day two of this storm. Blustery winds would mean blowing snow as well and travel would certainly not be recommended in a lot of areas. So always idea to you know check your local information regarding you know any school closures, business closures, road closures, and I'll update you with highway closures as they come in as well. Uh, across northeastern Ontario, we'll get warm enough for rain showers. Around the GTA, your Golden Horseshoe, about midday rain showers. Possible thunderstorm tonight in southwestern Ontario, although the best chance will be in the U.S. Not much rain for you in Ottawa and Montreal. In fact, a beautiful day in Montreal, 13 degrees with increasing cloud, 15 in Drummondville. Uh, Ottawa should be about 12 degrees today. Again, mainly cloudy, but mostly dry for the most part. All right, let's go to the East Coast, and we've got the moisture system there, one from the continent, one in the ocean. This is subtropical moisture, so this is warm air overriding that cold, dense air at the surface. So while this will be rain in southern areas, northern areas beginning tonight in northern New Brunswick, through Gas Bay, all around the mouth of the St. Lawrence. This will likely be freezing rain. There's going to be the risk of ice pellets as well up towards Labrador and uh, a persistent soggy week ahead for the East Coast with heavy rain near the Bay of Fundy.